today we are looking at the draw cut. Nukitsuke. We typically think of it as a fast draw cut. But is it always the case? Let's investigate and see. Number one, the push and pull of the sword and the saya. Right hand to push forward, left hand to pull back. Push and pull simultaneously together. But what do you do when it gets stuck? hip rotation to let the sword out. Number two, Sayabiki. Ideally, the Saya needs to be pulled as far back as possible. The movement is to ensure your sword is pulled out regardless of how long your sword is. to karate, we pull our fist or saya as far back around our waist, push and pull, forward extension and waist contraction, for maximum power and reach. Number 3, the hip rotation. Some schools exaggerate big back and forth for hip movements to teach the full motions for beginners of the eye or kenjutsu. A good point to remember for seite users as well. Seites are formal katas, so the extension and the hip rotations are more compact. It's to show we understand how to execute a sharp and strong nukisuke. Number 4. Cutting angle by twisting the saya. The saya acts as a rail for the sword to be drawn out smoothly. Saya directions points to where the sword will cut. Control your cutting direction with your left hand by twisting the saya, not with your sword hand. Twist the saya to the desired angle and the sword shall follow. Here's a quick safety announcement. Do not be like in anime. Quick draws are fun in anime and samurai films. However, it is not advisable, especially for beginners. There are many moving parts to execute an effective nukisuke. Don't rush the nukisuke for the sake of speed. The consequence is very costly and it may potentially end your saya, as well as your journey. Number 5. Commit the cut at the two-thirds of the draw. This is a personal interpretation and I was taught to do it this way. We draw to the two-thirds to observe the opponents to react and change the cutting angle direction accordingly. Of course, we don't change the kata. This is part of practicing your zanshin to show the steps that you are always ready to adapt to the situation. Two-thirds, commit. Two-thirds out, then commit. Two-thirds out, then commit. In some ways, it keeps the enemy on their toes. 
concepts the same with defensive situations. Two thirds block. Two thirds out attack. Two thirds strike. As well as offensive situations. The idea also applies to your footwork. Two thirds move forward and cut. Two thirds and move accordingly together with your techniques. Two thirds move and cut. Footwork may vary, depends on Ryuha. But the idea is the same if we follow the two thirds method. Step the Kikuchi from the kata number 12. Standing Yakuto from the Shoden Omori Ryu. And many other variations of styles. Please keep in mind, not all kata are the same. Let's go back to basics. Remember the steps. Push and pull. Saya biki. Hip rotation. Twist the saya. Two thirds then commit the cut. Ideally, we want our Nuki skin to be smooth. With no clacking sound of the sword and the sire. And a solid cutting alignment. This is the perfect Nuki skin I wish to achieve. A commenter once said, if I draw the sword out of the scabbard so slow, I think I'd be dead. Well, if that's the case, how about we play a game to test this theory out. I will face the camera and try to cut you, the camera. Your job is to predict which angle I am attacking you from. Let's do 10 out of 10. Ready?
share this to your friends and families to help bump to the 1000 Budoka subscribers. If you haven't already, do like and subscribe and give that bang bell a ding. Keep tabs on fun weekly contents like follow alongs and the how to's. I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.